We're Brittany and Drew, and after nearly three years of consistently sharing our lives on YouTube and seven years of living nomadically, it's only natural that we would need to redirect our sales and clarify what's been going on for us. But before we embark on that adventure, we want to dedicate today's video to our dear friend, Lee McMillan, who took her life the day this episode was filmed. We found out two days later. Some of you may have known her in real life and in the virtual world. May her beautiful and courageous soul live on in our hearts forever. And please, if you're suffering from depression, know that there is always someone willing to do whatever it takes to help carry you through. In honor of Lee, let's take in a deep breath. And slowly let it out. The big adventure that we have planned for the day, I know that Drew is going to be so excited to wake up to the fresh smell of homemade cinnamon rolls. As for me, at this early hour in the day, the only thing I'm interested in is my warm lemon water and athletic greens. You've heard us talk about before, and not only are they the sponsor of today's episode, but I hope that they are the sponsor of our lives because we love this stuff so much it supports our energy our immune system our gut function as well as blood sugar levels and hormone function this stuff does it all although drew will be indulging in cinnamon rolls this morning it's also going to be like he has an entire salad in a glass this stuff is nutritional insurance so that no matter what you do or do not eat in the day you know that you are getting 75 key nutrients and essential vitamins that your body needs to help you live your most optimal life. This is one thing that I hope we never have to take a break from. By taking the plunge into a life of optimal health with us using the link below, you will get a full year supply of vitamin D3, K2, plus five bonus travel packs of the good stuff. And we hope that you guys sign up so that you can enjoy the benefits with us. Now let's see how those cinnamon rolls are doing. They smell delightful. Mmm, it smells so good in here. Yay, I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> I can smell the cinnamon. You gonna put icing on them? Oh yeah. Look how nice those look. It's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna be all fueled up for today. Ooh, should I do them all? Mm, maybe just two for now. Oh, look at that one, it's got a nice little swirl. Look at that. Perfect. Right to the top of the castle. <laughs> you look like you had a lot of fun doing that. That was a fun morning activity. <laughs> got our camelbacks going. We're almost ready to go. You can be really hot. Not ready yet. I definitely have to wait. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> this pretty much sums up the two things we like. The funnies, and we're doing a lot of research in this category. 
and your cinnamon roll. Oh yeah. The time has come. Good? Mmm. Yummy? Give them a nice smell. It's a spot. Mmm. Listen to all the birdies. So pretty out. We're taking the electric car today. You can go 120 miles on an entire charge. And we don't have to get gas or anything for it. No, it's crazy. You just plug this thing in and let it do its thing. It's called the Leaf. Isn't that fun? Little Nissan Leaf. Love this little thing. We had originally planned to make another property hunt episode for you all, but with something on our hearts and something in the pipeline, which we'll be discussing later in the sit down chat portion of this episode, we opted to tackle one of the hikes that our house sitting hosts recommended we do before we leave the state and return home to our van. And that hike happened to be the 12 mile trek up to the highest waterfall in San Francisco, Murrieta Falls which, after a few wrong turns, ended up being quite the day. Where are we? We are parked along Lake de Valle. All the way up here, and there's Murrieta Falls at about 3,000 feet. Oh man. But I think you go up even over a pass in this area. We're gonna have a steady climb in the beginning for yeah, sure. Yeah, that flattens out a little bit, gives us a break, and then we head back up a little bit. Training started. Here we go. And it's 10 a.m. You're hoping to be back by 5? Yes. We did get a slow start, but we enjoyed the process. We had cinnamon rolls and athletic greens. Come on. <laughs> you brought your leopard skins? <laughs> These are so for, for sure. <laughs> Wait, what is that in the background? Dude, we just stepped back in an era. Do you have a quarter? I do not. It's working. No. Listen. Can you hear that? I don't even know when the last time was I heard that. I didn't, even th even... I didn't even think this was like still a working thing. What do you call this sound? Seriously trying to remember here. Dial tone? Did we just find the last payphone in America? Wow. Maybe if we find some quarters on the trail. Definitely feeling the elevation already. <laughs> As beautiful of a day as it was, something was weighing heavily on my heart. Maybe it was thoughts on the topic that we would be discussing with you once we made it to the top of this waterfall, that we were told may or may not actually have water falling from it. Or maybe it was the wrong turn I could intuitively sense that we were about to make. But we later found out that Lee's passing happened at just about the same time Drew was poking and prodding trying to figure out why I was so silent on the trail. It's a whole lot of things, I told him. But looking back, in that moment, I think my heart was feeling the loss of the world. At least there's cold wind coming in. We need a break. <sighs> we accidentally made a wrong turn and added like three and a half miles to this hike. We we're just following the digital map on my phone. <laughs> we have so much more. We're almost there. Actually, we have about two more miles just to the top. It's like an hour. 
One thing that made it all better though was those views. We could see the snow-capped Sierras nearly a hundred miles away. This would be a wonderful spot to park the van. I do sort of miss being able to like park our home on the side of like a remote ridge and <laughs> take in the view. Aw, van life. Van life. Sweet memory. Yeah, it's perfect for it. Nice and flat and level. Look at that. It's a bear footprint in the mud. You sure it's not like a mountain lion? No, that seems like a bear footprint. You can see it slipping back. Whoa. Are those its front paws? Like right there, but then that's the big, you know, he's like walking on all fours. You can see it slowly going up the mud. That's crazy. It's dry now, but he was mushing and sliding when he made those tracks. Oh, man. Did you bring the bear spray? No, definitely didn't bring the bear spray. I mean, I taught you last summer how to use it. <laughs> I know. Maybe he's hibernating, but it is springtime, so he might be out. Crazy. Wow. See where he went. Yeah. I need a break before we can have our little heart to heart with you all. You know what that means. Mmm. <laughs> Pizza day. I've been waiting for this, yeah It's been up on my mind Though it's hard to resist Feeling like one of a kind Pretty great spot, babes. Today, when I'm talking to the camera, like, babes this, babes that. <laughs> Where should we start? I think where I want to start is with something that has been on our hearts lately. And that's the fact that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to try and please everyone on YouTube. And that's a lot of people. That's yeah. basically like the world, the whole world. <laughs> Especially- 70,000 of you. Yeah, and you know, having 10,000 people view a video, that's like 20,000 eyes. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure on us. And we don't take that for granted because we know every view is an individual person. Yes, you all matter. And we yeah. never want any of you to feel offended by anything that we do. And we both felt really bad when a couple of videos ago, it was our beautiful snowy yurt adventure. We ended up putting in literally a two second clip where Mr. Adventure here is making yellow snow. I was just trying to hit a point home that you shouldn't eat yellow snow. Because we were eating beautiful, white, fluffy, fresh snow. Doesn't get much fresher than this. Mmm, so fluffy. Snow. I love snow. <laughs> I love snow. I never thought I would say that. I didn't completely agree with it right before we finished the edit of that video, but it's just as much Drew's channel as it is my channel. And so when it comes to making the final edit of our videos, I think it's important to include a bit of each of our own unique humor styles. Yeah, right? our personalities. Yeah, and so that little two second clip did make the final cut and we are sincerely apologetic if that made anybody feel uncomfortable. I did go into the back end of the YouTube studio and I luckily was able to cut out that little clip so it's no longer there. And Which is difficult to do on the editor because it changes all the audio and the song that's playing, etc. But luckily I think it worked out okay and hopefully that video is better for it. No more pee break filmings. <laughs> and on top of that, the other thing with that video was that we loved it so much and we really wanted it to do well. Like all videos, to be honest. Everything that you pour a lot of time in, and there's probably a good 30 hours between conceptualizing, planning, filming, filming editing. I mean, more than 30 yeah. hours. That was like two days, yeah. but- Honestly, we... sometimes guys, we will sit for an hour to two hours just to come up with uh, the title, yeah. then selecting and editing a thumbnail image. Because as, great as a video can be, 
nobody's gonna know how great it is if they aren't intrigued enough to click yeah. on that thumbnail and watch it yeah. and so the first photo that we chose as the thumbnail for that yurt video ended up being this magical snowy scene yeah we took a chance you know neither one of us were in it but we thought the scene is beautiful enough people won't be able to resist clicking on this well the video went live and it was not performing well after an hour it was ranking at number nine basically youtube ranks your last 10 videos and as a creator you want to see your videos excel like typically in the top five Yes. And if they're bombing at the bottom, you're it, like, what can we do? Yeah. We got to do something. SOS, save yes. our ship. Do we change the title? Can we change the thumbnail? Yeah. And the only other photos that we had to work with were like these bathtub photos of me. <laughs> and honestly, I'm more covered with my towel than I would be if I were wearing a bikini. And that is why we justified putting me as the thumbnail plus there's a fireplace a tub in a year i mean come shows on. you the inside it's a luxury of the yurt. Yurt. yes with the snowy scene out the window yeah. and we're like we that's it that's great but we couldn't handle the comments or feeling like we had disappointed some of you or misrepresented ourselves and our channel so okay we did it we changed the thumbnail again third time Next time, I'll be the one who poses with the towel holding up, and maybe that'll get all the likes. Tap that all the clicks. thumbs up if you guys want to see Drew in the towel next. <laughs> we want to keep things PG, PG-13. We, we want everybody happy with the content we're creating and but stay on brand. where we go with us trying to people please. Yeah. And at the same time, we're trying to grow our channel. And we're trying to make sure that our videos that we do pour so much time and effort into are getting the views that they deserve. Yeah. We've been trying to grow our channel from day one when we got serious on YouTube back in 2018 in November we've been posting weekly sometimes straight twice weekly for over two and a half years and we've seen a lot of our peers have growth way beyond Huge. what we've had but we try not to get caught up in the numbers and yeah. we just keep chugging away but that does mean that every once in a while when we see that we can kind of help breathe some new life into a video before it kind of flat lines or tanks it's just something that's hard for us because with so many more content creators on youtube all fighting for attention sometimes we do dare i say it get desperate and so we do apologize if it ever rubs any of you the wrong way we truly mean no harm but what we're trying to say here is that all we want to do is stay true to ourselves but these days, it just doesn't feel like that's good or worthy enough for YouTube's silent and mysterious algorithm. It's basically like having a boss that ignores how hard and long you've been working and won't promote you despite your efforts to do your very best. And sometimes we just don't know what to do to help ourselves. Just being in these outdoor spaces is sometimes the best mental space. And we yes. get to talk along the trail and <sighs> soak in the sunshine. The fresh, beautiful yeah. mountain air. The other thing that we wanted to tell you that we needed a break from, we truly have our hearts set in one direction. And as much as we wanted to continue with the property hunt, which is what I'm getting to right mm -hmm. now, we need to take a break from the property hunt because we kind of found a situation that we are head over heels in love with <laughs> and it's completely different from what we showed you in last week's episode you know from finding raw land to maybe going more the route of purchasing an existing business whether it be mm -hmm. a camp uh an a, inn a, yeah an inn or bed and breakfast yep. or a small hotel I, it's we really just want to bring people together share more of the goodness of the outdoors for people coming to an area having more of a community than if it were just us on a small homestead far away from a town you know like that seems like it would give us everything that we've been missing mm -hmm. being so far out on our own living van life yeah and so that's where we're at right now mm -hmm. we don't want to give away too much because yeah. we don't want to jinx it yeah. we're just letting things simmer right now we're letting it marinate and if it's meant to be it will be but trying to force another property hunt episode when now we sort of have our heart set on something I just can't go through the process of falling in love with another version of our lives and like having it crumble, you know, because 
the Honey Mushroom Lane property, I was all in. And I saw one version of our lives that I could have been so stoked about. And I feel the very same about this one property that we are in love with now. Yeah. And I don't want to imagine anything else other than that life. I really hope it happens. But again, if it, if it doesn't, I will it's understand takes a lot of energy out of both of us between vetting and surfing and looking through all the information yeah. as well as getting our hopes and dreams kind of put out there so mm -hmm. so we didn't want to search on Zillow for any more futures yeah. we kind of just want this one but yeah. we'll see what happens and we promise to keep you informed as things unfold but we'll see I love having these little heart to hearts <laughs> with you all though these days because I really feel like we can have honest conversations and really kind of clue you in on with where we're at in life versus focusing on the external like you kind of get an internal adventure it's like you guys were saying you're having a picnic in the outdoors with us so thanks for joining let's giddy up let's giddy up let's go oh i'm tired <laughs> at this point we weren't even halfway through our journey it was definitely a burn spot we still had that waterfall with potentially no water in it to hike up to and then all the way back down. It's all really charred and burned in here. If the world had more of your smile What if the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope So lush and green right now. So beautiful. Probably the best time to be here. Well, you can actually see the bay way out there. Uh, it is a very clear day. You sure this is the right way? Sure. Maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I know is that there should be. There is no one who has a heart as pure. This is the waterfall. Can you tell someone to turn it on for us? Turn it on! Mr. and Mrs. Adventure are here. I thought this waterfall was going to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> There's the real waterfall, the Big Daddy. The highest waterfall in San, in San Francisco. Francisco. Well, it's a little trickle right now. <laughs> Maybe after a good solid rain. A good solid springtime rain. Yeah. The sound of that definitely though makes me need to pee. You got a tinkle? <laughs> we won't film it though. Cut. Sharing our lives on YouTube is a beautiful, challenging, creatively inspiring opportunity and choice. We choose to make ourselves so vulnerable, and despite the physical shield of a computer screen or camera lens, the effects of comments and numbers in the virtual world are deeply felt in real life. And at the same time, we know that our content carries its own weight too. But our hope and intention is to always uplift you in some way because that's what we're here for. That's what we're all here for. 
And I think that kindness matters now more than ever. Well, at least we made it up to this waterfall. Sometimes all you gotta do is take a good little break and keep on keeping on. <laughs> That's right, we needed this one. Thanks for joining us on this adventure and yeah. thank you to those of you who signed up for our Bali trip. Yeah, we are over the top that we sold ah! all the early bird tickets out and some. So if you're still thinking about it, there's a little bit of space left yes. and we'd love to have you join. There is a policy for a refund in terms yeah. of COVID, COVID, if anything like that yeah. happens. But again, this isn't until May of 2022. Yeah. And so fingers, toes, everything crossed. I have a very good feeling. Very good And feeling. so do my leopard hands. <laughs> And for all of you guys that joined us on this episode, thanks for watching all the way through. <laughs> yeah. Consider supporting us on Patreon. We offer other things on Patreon and love the people who support us there dearly. Yep. So thanks for helping us to, you know, continue believing in our dream. We're going beautiful, great places, and we're really grateful to be able to take you with us. Yeah. So onwards and upwards. And downwards, because we got to get back to the car and we got a lot of miles to go. Amen to that. See you guys later. Hey little guy. Are you gonna rib it for us? I'd love to see him. Rib it. Rib it. Come on. He's thinking about it. There's the car. We're almost we back. back. How far did we go? It took us seven hours, a little bit more, but 16 and a half miles roughly. Oh my goodness. What are we making for dinner? Don't forget to check out our link below so you can try out Athletic Greens too.